Good morning. It's December 3rd, day three of Vlogmas. I slept well. It wasn't long enough. I had to get up and get Kush out the door, but it was all good. I can't complain. I'm out here right now walking this one. You haven't met her yet, that scout. She is uh, very independent minded. She's a great Pyrenees. If you if you're a dog person, she doesn't uh, she doesn't really she likes she's like a big cat. I think I've told you guys that she really is like a big cat. But anyway, I had to walk these two dogs separately because they're too strong for me to walk together. If, if another dog walks by, that would be the end of my life, and we we aren't quite ready for that yet. <laughs> um, feel more positive today. Sleep is incredibly restorative and I feel like I can do today. Um, I'm going to walk this one. I'm going to walk the other one. I'm going to try to get my house in order. Quite literally my house in order. For me, the whole concept of outer order intercom is real. I have to have a tidy space and one of my goals for December is to get my house kind of purged of all the extra. I have so much extra in my closet, especially. I don't wear 90% of my clothes and I feel like my hand nets are just not respected. I feel like I want them to have a beautiful space to be and, you know, get rid of all the things I don't wear. I think as time goes on, things change and lives change and I have too much that I just do not need. So that is one of the things you will see me doing over the next, over the next month. I'm letting Scout kind of lead this walk. Normally I'm like plowing forward and dragging her, but if she wants to sniff, we're gonna stop and sniff because I have to walk another dog after this. Um, I have to turn because she's wrapping me up. <laughs> okay guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys, it's about six o'clock on Sunday evening. Um, I just ate a burrito the size of my head, but it was so good. <laughs> it's just so absurd to be telling you guys that, but truly we were starving and picked up um, some Tex-Mex from um, a place we like to get food from. So my stomach is happy now. And I thought I'd do a little check-in. The kids are finishing their food and watching A Modern Family. And I thought I would quickly just do a little check-in with you guys because it's been a very busy day. So I haven't gotten to visit with you guys since the morning. Um, I don't know where the day went. This is how so much of, I feel like, my days go. I just feel like I was so busy, but it's so unexciting. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm obviously in a much happier mood than I was last night. And I'm, I'm sort of embarrassed to say that, like my mood feels so affected by how my son's basketball games go, but this is a safe space. I tell you all the truth. I'm not super proud of the fact that when he plays at his maximum capacity, I feel much happier and when he's not I feel frustrated and irritated um, I'm not proud of that because I feel like that's not a real great role model maybe or example it's not that I'm telling him that I feel that way I just I really do and today it was you know they had two great wins and it was just really fun it's really fun to watch them play when they're all just gelling in this magical kind of way. And it's just, it's just really fun. Um, you know, he is, I think, similar to me in the way that he values true and deep connection and like superficial connections aren't that satisfactory. And he's found this team and they all just get along so beautifully. And I think when your friendships, 
and your connections with someone are based upon something that you're both so passionate about, it's just a different kind of vibe. And these boys all are just so passionate about basketball and they get along so well and they encourage each other and they're proud of each other. And it's just, it's magical to see it. And today it just was like, the magic was there. So I'm just really happy today. It's so, it's such a good lesson that, you know, when you're down, no matter what the reason is, it's just so important to remember that usually being down just means that there's an up around the corner, you know? So anyway, today was just all around better. I barely got any knitting in. My ribbing is coming along, but it's not even worth showing you and it's out there somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Every day is different and on the weekends, you know, it's super kiddo heavy days and it's fine because tomorrow they'll be at school and I'll be so glad that we had so much quality time together. So anyway, um, what else did I want to say? Um, one thing knitting wise was I saw in my email that Jesse made designs released um, the Great Gingham slippers, I almost said sweater, but I meant slippers and mittens. And this is a, this is a design that she's done in a sweater and a hat. And I just, I love it so much. Um, I'm always so excited to see anything um, that she comes out with because I just, I love her aesthetic. Um, and seeing the slippers and mittens really made me want to cast on the hat. I don't want to cast on the slippers or mittens. Um, just, they're so cute, but I just don't think um, I'd get a ton of use out of them. So I really want to, it made me really dive into some of the Ravelry projects on the hat. I think the thing that's been keeping me is that I don't have any um, spin spike, uh, the spin cycle in sport weight, whatever their sport weight is called, dyed in the wool, something, I don't know. Um, I don't have any of that. I think I've got a decent amount of um, dream state leftovers, but that is a worsted weight yarn. And this hat just seems so perfect for using leftovers. So if I had spin cycle sport weight leftovers, I would have made this hat already, but I don't. But while looking at the pattern and some of the projects, I realized a lot of people did not use spin cycle. And the reason I keep saying spin cycle is because that, that their very unique color changing yarn sometimes just makes a piece beautiful. But I think I feel like a lot of people didn't use that and their hats were still really spectacular. So I'm tempted to use just fingering weight yarn and make it because you guys know, because I've been talking about how I'm such a loose knitter and hats are always too big that I bet a fingering weight hat in this pattern would be just fine for me. So that is definitely on my radar, especially because I'm so obsessed with um, hats lately. Yeah, I'm sleepy. And this is my party favor for the evening. It is a beer. <laughs> and I'm very happy to be drinking it right now. Um, what else? I don't think much else. Um, I did want to say that it's kind of a funny feeling right now because this is the exact chair I was sitting in almost exactly a year ago when I taped my first episode. And I haven't taped from here since then. And it's just, it's a very unique feeling. I need to kind of reflect on it. I haven't, but you know, I'm just so, so glad I took the leap and taped that episode. And as absurd and imperfect as it was, just didn't let that stop me because I knew if I just kept seeking like a perfect first episode, it was never going to happen. And just to put that raw stuff out there and 
just start. Sometimes all you need to do is just start. Whatever it is, it does not have to be even close to a perfect start. It just has to be a start with no adjectives, just a start. And I just, I truly don't know what I would, I don't know. I've just, it's been such a joyful journey and I'm so grateful for this community and that wouldn't be if I hadn't done that episode. So anyway, it's kind of a full circle moment and that's kind of fun. All right, you guys, I apologize for like the micro mini vlog today, but you know, not every day in this month is going to be um, anywhere near the same. There's the weekdays are a lot easier for me to carve out time and the weekends are just not. So anyway, I never thought I'd say that I'm happy it's Monday tomorrow, but this weekend is going to do me in. I can't, I need, I need a little breather tomorrow while the kids are at school to just kind of take a sanity beat. Um, so yeah, that's all, that's all I got for you. But luckily the thing I love about this vlogmas thing is that we get to meet again tomorrow. So there's not a whole lot of pressure to make this one a long one because tomorrow and I do have some fun things to show you tomorrow I'm actually really excited um I'm not gonna spoil it I'm gonna let it be a surprise but I am very excited for what I get to share tomorrow so um stay tuned okay guys have a lovely rest of your weekend I hope your week if you're watching this on a Monday hope your week is off to a great start it's December Let's finish strong. I remember a year ago, I was literally thinking to myself, I've wanted to tape a podcast all year and I haven't done it and it's not too late. There's still time to do it this year. So whatever it is, do it this year. Don't let another number change on that calendar without doing whatever it is you wanna do. Go do it and then let next year, you know, be, off to the races for you. So anyway, okay. I'll see you tomorrow, my friends. Bye.